just feels like a normal car. When the hydrogen gas goes through and reacts with the air, it creates water, and that comes out as the tailpipe. In 2003, President George W. Bush threw the weight of his administration behind hydrogen-powered cars. Tonight I'm proposing $1.2 billion in research funding so that America can lead the world in developing clean, hydrogen-powered automobiles. But more than 10 years later, there are few to no hydrogen cars on U.S. roads. Part of the problem? Building the infrastructure. You know, countries like Japan, Germany, UK, Scandinavia have already taken a significant lead in terms of funding infrastructure for their, for their uh, markets. For Toyota's Nihar Patel, the push is on to secure funding, initiatives like HOV lanes and tax incentives to both bolster the construction of new fueling stations and consumer demand. As infrastructure increases, we will see a lot more consumers driving towards this particular product, given that it's a zero emissions product. California has become the testing ground, committing as much as $200 million to expand its fueling network by 2024. Toyota estimates it will take only 68 stations to ensure California drivers have a place to refuel cars that get approximately 300 miles per fill-up. The technology is not without its detractors. Tesla's Elon Musk said last year they might as well be called fool cells because of the cost and complexity behind their use. Still, Patel says the unnamed Toyota model unveiled on the East Coast at last week's Washington, D.C. Auto Show has reached a price point for broad release. This particular product, uh, because of all the things we've done in, in R&D standpoint, is costing 95% lower than the exact vehicles that we put on the roads in 2002. And as costs come down, Toyota plans to lobby Washington hard for the infrastructure to support the hydrogen vehicles of the future now.